this is the way that you're able to see if you have a Gen 2 motor, basically that it already had some kind of issue and Ford changed it out, or if you still have your Gen 1. Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? This is your boy, Los. Thank you for tuning in to another Motor Misfit. I really appreciate it, guys. And today, well, before we get into today, I want y'all to help me out, please. I see that we're climbing up there. 228, 26, around there. Subscribers, I really appreciate it, guys. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. Thank you for everybody that's been commenting. Thank you for everybody that's been liking. Guys, you are amazing. And if you have not done so yet, please like, comment, subscribe, click that bell icon. It will really help me out. And get this content into other people's eyes that might find it entertaining or beneficial as well. So help me out, guys. Please, what we're doing today is something very quick, right? Um with the Shelby GT350, which we have right here, Vader. Um, so basically with Shelby's, you know that you have to check the oil, or if you don't know, now you know, you have to check the oil consumption because these um, engines, the Voodoo engine, the 5.2 liter crank or flat plane crank engine consumes a lot of oil. Sometimes it burns them, sometimes it just guzzles it up. So you have to make sure that your engine level is, your oil level, sorry, is correct. Because if you start driving this car around with low oil, game over. That's it, you know? So we're gonna check it. I have about, I don't know, 800, 900 miles on it. And I just came back from the store real quick. So, you know, it's not completely hot but it's still warm let's say so it should give us some good reading so let's go do that all right so let's go to the beast right now open up the uh, engine please don't shoot me <laughs> it is a little dirty i don't know why it gets so dirty i don't know i gotta i don't really drive it too much right so i don't know why it gets so freaking dirty but anyways let's open this up all right guys this engine is hot as hell i'm always burning myself on the prop hot on the hood prop sorry <laughs> um, i'm always burning myself there yeah when i lift it up so it's not as warm as i thought it would be but whatever it will do let's go get a um let me get it here do i have anything oh there you go dirty rag all right so let's check this engine all right guys so we're gonna check the oil now you gotta be extremely careful because this is hot so when you first take it off I mean, by no means is this a DIY. Everybody should know how to check their own oil. But um, there's a hot way to check it, and then there's a cool way to check it. I usually do it the cool way, but this is a little more accurate. So I'm not sure if it could pick it up, but you have these little levels. You have two holes, and as long as it's between those two holes, better... Um, that it's closer to the top hole than the bottom hole, then you're good. So after, it's a little under the uh, top hole. So after a thousand miles, we are good. Now, I don't know if it's a little too hot. So shout out to Shelby Voodoo Queen. Um, if you haven't checked out any of his videos and you're a uh, Mustang, Shelby GT350 lover, you definitely need to check out his videos. He put out a video and he also uh, 
He also uh, talked about another YouTuber, but um, he did put out a video where you can check if your GT250 engine is still a Gen 1 or a Gen 2. I want to check this. I don't know how to take this off. How do you take this off? You just twist it. So like that. Damn, it's like, it's killing me. <laughs> Let me see how this one is. Ah, uh, okay, there you go. All right, so it's on the bottom. All right, it's gonna be interesting. This thing is hot. Woo, that is hot, guys. <sighs> Nothing can be easy, right? Damn. I need a new intake. All right, so what we gotta do to take this off, let me see if I can show it, is you see that little gray tab right there? It has to go this way. Problem is that the engine is hot. Yes, yeah, this. And... Woo, all right, we got it off. Cool, so that's off. And now, take this off. And what I'm doing is that I'm checking if I have a Gen 2 or a Gen 1. So, let's go see. All right, let's see what we have there. As you guys see there on the screen, and again, shout out to Shelby Voodoo Queen. Please follow that man because his videos are really great and the content that he puts out on gt350 and mustangs is amazing so shout out definitely watch your videos um he was the one that that suggested um looking at your engine and you know since i saw that video i've been i've been wondering do i have a gen 1 or a gen 2 engine now as i said before this is a 2017 car so as you guys see right here and i had a google uh julian date and basically what it is is that the first two numbers are the year so this car's or this motor in this car is a 2019 so right off the bat you know that this is not the original motor for this car because it's a 2017 car um so that means that it's a generation two motor which means that the original motor probably had issues and they took it to ford ford rectified the issues and basically put in a generation two motor as you guys can see there it is um, a gt 350 r motor because that doesn't change between the regular gt 250 and the r 213 and you have to actually google this to actually know is the month and that is august then you have 22 or 022 and that is the day so it was this particular motor was built on august 22nd and the last two numbers are what um when uh, what number in the production line it was so basically this was motor number 25 or whatever so there you have it we have a gen 2 motor in this 2017 gt350 so what does that mean more rel reliability it's already been to ford for oil consumption problems once so hopefully it's a little bit more reliable and i feel a little more comfortable doing stuff to this car although i don't know yet <laughs> so we do have a gen 2 motor i'm ecstatic that's really good because then that means that you don't have to go and mess with ford with the warranty hopefully um because the hope is that once they put in this gen 2 motor in it it took away all the issues that the gt350 would have had and then 555 of the gt250r something like that i don't know you guys can google it or go watch shelby voodoo queen's video 
I'll, I'll I'll put it in the description so that you guys can watch this guy and his great content. So that is basically it, guys. We have a Gen 2 motor. Um, Corvette went by. We have a Gen 2 motor in a 2017. The oil is great. No oil consumption after almost a thousand miles. So I'm happy. Till next time, guys. This is it. This is going to be a very quick video. Um, other than that, the car is very dirty. I keep it covered because I got the Shelby GT350 cover. It stays clean, although I will say that brake dust sucks. Look at the front wheels. Yeah, that brake dust is a killer. So either way, haven't washed the car maybe in like two weeks or so. So it's all right, you know, every two weeks, that's not bad. And the actual paint itself, looks pretty good it's just the wheels obviously you're gonna drive it and there's gonna be brake dust well that is it guys thank you for tuning in and let me know below have you checked your engine have you seen if you have a gen 1 or a gen 2 did this help you out um let me know because this is the type of stuff that we need to see on YouTube or learn from each other. Just like I learned it from Shelby Voodoo Queen. He learned it from another YouTuber. I think he said Nanu Garage or something like that. Um, he learned it from another YouTuber. You guys learned it from me or him or whatever. Let's just keep this community learning so that we all, you know, we're all in this together. We all want our cars to be great and, you know, you don't want anything bad to happen to it. So the more that you know, the better you'll be. Till next time, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Click that bell icon. It will really help out. And, well, keep driving those cool cars. You know I am.